Hey, what up, Destiny 2 superstars? Now look, I'm going to be straightforward with you guys. I did not think I would be making this video. Already had another video of another weapon planned for you, and you guys know I've been bringing you guys some of the most banger videos for crafted weapons. However, yesterday I crafted a god roll and hortative pulse rifle. Now I'm going to be honest, I was reluctant to craft it with my crafting materials. But holy hell, I was shocked just how effective this weapon is. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the god roll that I crafted, and I'm going to also give you guys a god roll for pve as well because it's going to be different from this roll. also welcome to the channel guys i appreciate the support now this weapon is a 390 rounds per minute pulse rifle with 37 in the magazine with a base recoil of 61. now it is a solar primary weapon and it is in the secondary slot so i've been pairing it with the unending tempest submachine gun and oh my god this is a perfect combo also this weapon is an adaptive frame so it's well-rounded grip reliable and sturdy like i said earlier this weapon is craftable so you can obtain it from playing the season of the wish seasonal activities now this weapon comes with a unique origin trait that i really love called nano munitions so being their allies slowly build up a partial emergency ammo refill for the next time this weapon runs out of ammo now the emergency ammo is increased with the time spent near allies in more detail while within 15 meters of an ally is gonna grant a stack of nano munitions every three seconds up to a maximum of seven now consuming a stack restarts the timer also it consumes up to four stacks upon emptying the magazine and refills 25 percent of it for each consumed stack now in my opinion this is a genius move by bungie adding this origin trade into destiny 2 especially for pvp because now that skill based matchmaking is in the game most players tend to run together and team shoot especially at the higher skill levels that i met man it's almost impossible to get a one-on-one -on -one engagement the only way i'm able to get those engagement is by flanking and running off by myself however with this origin trait i have to stay with my teammates to make sure i maximize the effort of this weapon now when it comes to crafting a pvp guy roll there are a couple of things that you're looking at number one this weapon needs great stability or number two this weapon needs great recoil because the shooting pattern of a pulse rifle is a burst now this weapon is a three round burst and with that motion on the weapon it can make you miss your headshots because of the reticle bouncing up and down so that's why you need either great stability or great recoil to keep that reticle steady so you could get your headshots for a faster ttk so here's the stats for the pvp guy roll i built i got 56 range 60 stability which is okay i got 52 handling 69 aim assist but look at this guys i got 100 recoil with this role in pvp i've gotten 41 kills 35 of those kills guys are headshots so that is a 85 percent headshot kill guys that is amazing i know that's a small sample size that was the stats before i went into pve with this weapon but guys that just shows what 100 percent recoil could do for a weapon even if you don't have great stability when you're choosing god roll traits for this weapon you need to make sure you're either going for great stability or great recoil or both when it comes to my pvp weapon damage is going to do 31.50 per bullet to the crit which is the head 19.01 to the body for the time to kill the optimal tdk is 0 0.60 seconds if someone is a tier 3 or below with resilience now for the body shot you're looking at 1.40 seconds if you're looking for a faster tdk on this weapon you can find some different options on this weapon for that now my roll has 56 weapon range and the damage fall off starts at 34.34 meters when you aim it down sight and then the damage fall off is 20.20 20 meters when you're hip firing all right guys so i'm about to go over the effects of my pvp guy roll but right before i do i do want to point out that i actually made a mistake on the stability instead of 60 i forgot to factor in the enhancement trait on one of the perks that i'm using so we're actually going to have 65 stability and for our pvp guy roll for the barrel we have arrowhead break which add plus 30 to recoil direction and plus 10 to our handling for our magazine, we're going with ricochet rounds, which rounds ricochet off hard surfaces. Now, it's going to add plus 5 to our range, also plus 10 to our stability. For our first enhanced trait, we have heal clip. Reloading after dealing a final blow grants cure to you and nearby allies, and you have an additional time to perform the reload. So, you have well over 5 seconds to reload after getting a kill to perk this. And I'll tell you what, I've never used this trait before, but I've been sleeping on it. 
I'm going to start using this a lot on some of my weapons unless it's a better trait. But I'm going to be honest with you, man. This thing is really good. It really comes in handy to help me stay alive and stay in gunfights. Then next we have Head Seeker, which body shots landed with this weapon increased precision damage and aim assist for a short time. Now body shots landed while the perk is active also refresh the time and it also adds 5% to your stability. This is a really great trait guys and all right so we're also going with the origin trait and then we're also going with a range masterwork with a counterbalance stock weapon mod. Now the stats for our PVE guard roll is going to give us 46 range, 65 stability, 57 handling, 100 reload with 46 in the magazine. For our PVE damage, we're looking at 1,283 per bullet to the crit, which is the head, and 774 per bullet to the body. Now for the effects, we're going with flu the barrel for the barrel, which had plus five to the stability, also plus 15 to handling. Now for the magazine, we're going with high caliber rounds, which shots from this weapon knocks the target back further, and it slightly increases the range by plus five. Now, PVE, I normally like to use Flare Magwell for my magazine. However, since we're using the Enhanced Trait Feed and Frenzy, which rapid final blows with this weapon progressively increases reload speed and substantially for a short time, there's really no need for it. The five stacks with Feed and Frenzy is going to give us 100 reload speed and a 0.8 reload multiplied. For our second enhancement trait, there's none better than Incandescent. Defeating a target spreads a longer lasting scorch to those nearby targets. Now more powerful cabanas and opposing guardians causes scorch in a larger radius. Now the plus 30 scorch stacks to targets. However, if you use the Ember of Ashes fragment, it actually adds 45 stacks. It also deals damage to enemies within 4 meters of the target on weapon kills. And killing powerful cabanas and players increases the radius to 8 meters. It's even crazy the scorch damage can be increased through weapon damage buffs that you can put on this Weapon. We're also using the nano traits. We're using a stability masterwork and also a backup magazine for more bullets. But to see all the perks and traits on this weapon, you could go to d2founder.gg or light.gg. If you are looking for more Destiny 2 weapon reviews and god roll guys, I would suggest you watch this playlist next. Also, don't forget to like and sub. You guys have a blessed day. Peace.